Hey guys, welcome to ITS Tactical and our next knot of the week. Today we're going to be tying a paracord deployment lanyard. That's a nomenclature I've just kind of come up with. Um, essentially, we're going to take a large amount of paracord and turn it into a lanyard that's very easy to access and quick. Um, last week, as you can remember, hopefully we uh, went over the paracord storage lanyard, which was a way to store about four to six feet. Um, today we're going to be talking about 25 feet. So this is just a way to store a lot more paracord in a nice compact way that's easy to deploy. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so you can see what we've got here is a roll of 25 feet of paracord and I'm gonna show you how to tie one of these. Now, what makes this so easy to deploy is the way that you start this thing, which is first by getting a lighter. And what you're gonna do is actually melt the paracord into itself. And it can be a little tricky because it doesn't always wanna to bind together. So, as you remember last week, what I did is I kind of used my hand as a guide here, and I took this starting measurement and I used that to wrap up. And I've got last week's none of the week if you want to take a look at that. So that's what we made last time, and that's roughly about the same size as my hand. So I'm going to do that again with this, and I'm going to make I'm going to leave a loop this time, a little bit bigger loop. So starting there, I'm now going to take the end here, and I'm going to melt it into itself. I'll get into the reasons why in a second. All right, so once you have it melted into itself, kind of give it a little tug and make sure it's not going anywhere. And then you're going to start again right in here. And basically what we're going to do is keep making loops. This is going to take a little while, so just be patient with this step. We're just going to keep looping it, just like so. And the kind of stopping point, if you're using 25 feet like we are here, the stopping point is roughly about six feet from the end is where you're going to stop doing this at. So I'm just going to judge it when I get to that point. But this isn't rocket science, so. kind of on your own to judge for yourself. But what's great about this is that the point of melting that piece of paracord into itself is that once you hook this onto something like a backpack or a carabiner or something like that, it makes it very easy to just rip right off that carabiner and deploy instantaneously. Trying to get to about six feet from the end. Once you've gotten your six feet, you're going to start at the top, so right here, and you're basically going to make one wrap, and you're going to lock it off, which is just taking a second wrap and locking it off like that. So I'm going to try to get a little higher on this, lock it off right there. And what you want to do is just wrap down on this thing, and you're kind of tightening as you go. You want it to be a nice tight wrapping. You can see at each point here, I'm just kind of pulling it tight at each wrap. You can see that my loops aren't quite nice and arranged there, but you get the general idea, I hope. We got a little bit extra, but probably could have made one more loop in there. Probably made it a little bit longer than six feet, but that's okay. Okay, so all I'm going to do with the end here is I'm just putting it through itself and tightening it up.
And then for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to cut it off instead of having to rewrap it. But if I was doing this myself, I would definitely rewrap it. And you can also wait until the end, too. You've been making a little more than 25, and you can actually fuse this end to itself, too. It'll help stabilize it a little more, make it a little uh, more sturdy. So essentially, that's really all there is to it. You can see my other one looks a little bit cleaner. Um, just don't have the extra loops hanging off, but let's show, let me show you what this does. So I'm going to basically attach a carabiner here, and this is that one we did last time. And I'm just going to carabiner this on here. So there's our loop. And remember that we fuse that piece to, to itself. So all you're going to do is yank that really hard. And sometimes that will come off. Obviously, I've melted that a little hard, but basically this is just giving you a way to keep pulling out this paracord. So 25 feet of paracord will come off pretty quick. And there you go. So nice and accessible when you need it. Um, it's a great thing to hang off your pack or really anywhere you need to store paracord. So you just clip it onto a carabiner and it's ready to go. So there you have it, how to make a paracord storage lanyard with ITS Tactical's Not of the Week. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out itsdactical.com where we'll have a full write-up as well as photos and additional details. Thanks for watching.